Hey everyone, so we've got another plumbing and appliance video for you. This time we're going to install the shower, like all the tapware for the shower, and the uh, toilet, and then we'll also wire up the toilet. So enjoy. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to install our shower head and our tap. Um, all I've done is mark it up where we want to put it. I'm going to pre-drill some holes and then I'm going to screw it in. This is just the first bit we'll need to work out where the pipes go as well as the tap, but we'll start with this. Alright, so now we should just be able to take our shower arm holder and push it on. And there we go. Alrighty, so it's taken us a few tries, but I wanted to show you what happened with our shower taps. Um, so what we've done here, this is the outside, so this is the inside of our closet. We've had to cut a hole big enough for this to slide through from the back into the other side. I've screwed it into place so it's nice and stable. This is where the hoses will come in for the hot water, the cold water. This is where they'll go up to the shower head. So I'll take you through to the inside. So this a few goes is the most frustrating thing. On the inside, it's a bit dirty. We've had to cut a square. Now the square is for this bit here, which backs up against it, which we're going to silicon on. And then the tap comes through and attaches to this bit. It goes up, down, turns sideways, etc. So now we're going to pop it into place. I have to push quite hard because that rubber in there is very tight. We have come to learn. Clean up time and later when it's settled for a bit, we'll put the head on. Yay! Okay, so this is the piece of our shower head that connects to our water inlet over there. So we weren't sure how to connect it to the shower. So what we've got is this. So this goes through the fiberglass and then this screws onto the wall. We'll sort of show you as we set it up. Then we've got a little bit of copper that goes into there. Then this pushes onto that. It's all just push fitting, so we're fine to do it. And then we've got a half inch to John Guest that screws into this and the half inch to John Guest that screws into the top of that one. Then we'll just do John Guest between them and then that will allow our water to go from cold and hot up here through to our shower head. So I'm about to drill um, out the hole for our shower fitting here. I'll show you the connections later, but I'll drill the hole with the hole saw first and go from there. So it's super dark because I'm in the shower and it's night time, but that's the little bit poking through from the outside. And I'm just going to, once it gets in the view, put some silicon around it and then screw the piece on. And that's what this side looks like. So. Yeah, John Guest between the two, and the copper piping, and then that screws onto the inside. So we've seen other people that have cut like a big rectangle out of their shower wall, um, and I guess they just mount everything to the fiberglass or something like that. Uh, we're not sure, we've just seen the big hole cut out of the side. That might be easier, we've obviously just had to cut holes based on what we've put in and it's been difficult and looks a bit like a dick <laughs> penis <laughs> penis <laughs> um yeah and we've had to put a bracket in and stuff it's not it's not pretty but hopefully it's gonna work but yeah we're sure there's an easier way and it's probably easier if you use actual caravan or motorhome shower heads and stuff but we've obviously used real house stuff so we've just, yeah, we made it work. I uh, will see if it leaks. And we've just attached our shower head. Bit of clean so up to do, but looks pretty awesome. It's pretty easy. This just screwed onto the bottom of that. It's got a little O-ring in it. Um, we actually had to take it apart when we built it. 
it comes together so you'll see if you take it apart how it all fits. Alright, so here's the cold water going to our shower. And then it goes off behind our shower cubicle over to our toilet, which we'll go over and we'll talk about that and do that now. Okay, so this is the water connection for the toilet flush. Now apparently this is a half inch NPT, um, which is an American standard. And in Australia, all we can get is BSP. Uh, apparently they're not really compatible, except in half an inch. Um, apparently there's a bunch of differences, but most of them are the same when it comes to half an inch. Other sizes, not so much. So I'm just going to wrap this in thread tape and put our John Guest to half an inch BSB on and hope it works. Alright, so there's our fitting in there. And it comes up like that. This hose is a little bit annoying, it keeps wanting to kink and stuff and obviously we don't have room back here so I had to cut my John Guest hose long enough that I could actually plug it in. So this is sort of where it ended up. We can push it over here to pull the cassette out so it should be fine. Okay, so this is the connection that the that the toilet comes with. So I asked our electronics store about this connector and he just said don't worry about it, take it off and hardwire the wires like you would anything else. Um, I don't have a screwdriver tiny enough to get in there, so I'm just going to cut them here, strip some more wire, and then wire it up. Alright, so we go, a bit hard to see, but there's the wires together with heat shrink. Um, I've just then routed it out and away, just with tape at the moment. I'll probably come back and fix that, just so when we pull the cassette out, something in the way. And then it comes down here, and then back behind our shower. So now I'm going to go take it to the fuse block. Yeah, so this is the wire for the toilet, it comes down, down here, and then it comes up to my hot water system wire, which runs across, I'll get out of the way, comes up here, and then where to go? Here, and then I've just put two spade terminals on, so if we, I don't have a screwdriver, I'll be back. Alright, so I have a screwdriver now, so we just loosen up our positive. And we'll snap our negative. I'm definitely recording. Can I? Yeah, one second. Cool. And then we just put our spade under the washer. And then we tighten it up. Okay, I'm holding the camera so I can't really do it with two hands, but you get the idea. Alright, so there we go with the wires all hooked up. Uh, and from looking at the instructions, it was a 7.5 amp fuse. Uh, so we've only got 5 and 10, so I'm just going to put a 10 in. So let's grab that and we just off one the line up. Connect it there. Alright, so yeah, that's our toilet wired up. So I heard that you're actually supposed to put like seven uh, rotations of thread tape on or something. So my, I'm gonna put a lot on and only put, what, three? Wasn't very good, so we're gonna do a lot more on that. Done. Um, we also replaced this one and the hot water one with elbows. Uh, that was a recommendation from the plumber. He said that it looked like I was putting a bit of strain on. He probably said you're probably better off doing elbows. Um, I did sort of try and avoid doing elbows mostly. I did see that elbows can um, restrict your flow. But I mean if it's too tight, well then it's probably causing more issues than a bit of flow restriction. Anyway, so... We'll see if this works, and if this works, I'll um, do the same with hot water ink. Okay, so that's it for installing the shower tapware and the toilet. Uh, we'll do the grey water for the shower and sink in the next video. Uh, as we said in the video, where we installed all the shower tapware and everything isn't...
pretty. There's probably an easy way to do it, but it works just fine. Um, so yeah, uh, we also didn't use enough thread tape on a lot of the fittings, which I mentioned in there. Uh, some didn't leak. Some leaked a little bit, like only like little drips and stuff, nothing major. So there's a couple of fittings that we took off, put you know four or so rotations of thread tape on, and it's worked a lot better. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, thank you.